China's main stock index has fallen more than 30% in the last three weeks. The big drop marks a dramatic reversal from the huge run-up in Chinese stock prices that began late last year, more than doubling the index in a period of about seven months. Over the last week, as losses piled up, Chinese authorities have taken a number of unprecedented moves to try to restore confidence. At the end of June, the central bank cut interest rates for the fourth time since November, pairing the move with a cut in the required reserve ratio for banks. Last weekend, the central bank said it would loan directly from its own balance sheet to support stock purchases. So having that liquidity window open means that um, the core uh, intermediaries in the market will remain stable. So they'll be able to access liquidity when they need it. So, so I think that's important. That, that's probably the biggest measure in terms of you know, creating an orderly retreat or an orderly unwind of margin financing levels. A group of 21 mostly state-owned securities brokerages have pledged to spend $19 billion of their own money to buy shares and promise not to sell them until the main index breaks above a key resistance level. Local media has also said that the futures exchange is pressuring traders not to use stock index futures to short the market. So far, the measures aren't having the impact the government hoped. Even with the closed uh, uh, you know, equity market uh, or capital account, uh, uh, it's very difficult for the policymakers to contain a very rapid fall in the equity market. Uh, so this suggests that uh, Perhaps going forward, uh, there could be more policy coordination, and China need to think about its capital account liberalization. If uh, it pushes capital account liberalization too fast, uh, then it will make uh, you know the current uh, uh, in the market downturn more uncontainable. Nearly half of Chinese companies listed in Shanghai and Shenzhen have halted trading of their shares to prevent further losses. But that's at best a temporary fix. What I'm hoping for is Beijing will take this um, correction in the past three weeks as uh, an opposite, an, a window of opportunity to revisit its uh, way of implementing reforms and handling crisis-like situation. And from there, uh, hopefully they can improve on the way that they, uh, they, 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 they implement reforms and do things. Now, it, but if Beijing missed this window of opportunities, then uh, what Beijing did uh, in the past week and probably going forward in saving the market will go down history as a, as, a, as a bad thing. Analysts say that while direct spillover from the stock market to the real economy is limited, the failure of government measures to staunch the bleeding threatens to undermine the credibility of the Communist Party. Gabriel Wildown, Financial Times, Shanghai.